what's called an F-type male. I'll disable that. Right, turning Cairo TV on. Boom, this is the back. See, it is 64 here. Yeah, as you can see, it's running a lot more faster. Software updates, software Update. updates. Hello and welcome to the setup guide for your new Sony Android TV. This is the X80, 85 inch up big TV. This is the remote you get. And we're gonna be using in this guide primarily the up and the down and left and the right buttons and the okay. If I use another button, I'll let you know. So let's go. I'm excited, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm excited. Gonna, finally got TV. I know. Finally got TV. All right, so I'm gonna go. Oh, it's fast, it's nice. It's really it's responsive. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. What? Look at that. Okay, Australia. Australia. Uh, quickly set up your TV with your Android phone. No. I do not want you spying on my phone. <laughs> Android is the most insecure operating system. Oh, We're giving it to Sony. They're gonna be going through your text messages. <sighs> gonna be going through your, you know, dodgy stuff that you do on Tinder. Don't do that, skip. Skip. I'm gonna skip Wi-Fi for now. Okay. Just to get it going. Terms of service. So by continuing, you have to agree with Google's terms of service. Unfortunately, if you don't agree with Google's terms of service, you can't use the TV says that it's going to temporarily store the voice and audio history from microphone use to improve the product experience. Okay, what? <laughs> what? Is that real? Yeah, read the last paragraph. Google also collects and temporarily stores the voice and audio history from microphone to use, uh, microphone use to improve product experience. Is there a microphone there? Yeah, it's a button there. God damn. Hello. Maybe if you don't press on it, it I won't think if you don't press it. on it, it won't So it. Can, I, can I reject it? Unable to reach any if you don't have internet <laughs> connection. <laughs> you can't read the T's and C's. Let Google use your device's no. location to improve experience. No. no. Help improve Google. No. No. They got an entertainment unit. Yeah, where'd they, they get that one from? They found one deep enough for the TV. <laughs> <laughs> get apps from the Google Play. No, it's so smooth. I, got yeah, a, I love yeah, it. it looks, it's look, so looking nice. Looking good. I'm happy with that. I'm enjoying this. Cast your TV. I do. Oh, it it's does, a Chromecast. Chromecast. It also has AirPlay. And the picture. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I love it. That was nice. That was nice. That was like an experience. Oh, oh it's an experience. Oh. oh, it's got music. Oh my God, I love this. I love how big it is. It's so immersive. We're Queensland, baby. Yes. It's fast. So good. It's fast. So good. Privacy policy. You can actually read this one. Okay, cool. Basically, they're gonna spy on you. That's yeah, what they're saying. Yeah, I think saying. that's what it says. Yeah. I th I'm just gonna click proceed and not agree to anything. See what happens. It says if you don't want to, just says, if you don't wanna give consent, you just click proceed. Yeah. You don't need to consent. You don't have to consent. Automatic software update. Disable. So we actually have an aerial on this house, which we've never used in our life. I wanna use it. I wanna watch TV, I wanna watch the fireworks. So we're just gonna skip it for now. Fine. How is your TV positioned? Is it wall mount or tabletop stand? Tabletop stand. I want to get that tabletop stand because it looks that nice. One. That's a good it does looking look one. Good. That's what we need yeah. to get at. I just want I want a table stand that's just a box. Complete. I love it. Oh babe, this is awesome. <sighs> there you go. Oh, that's that's it. it. It's done. Your TV has now been set up. Thanks for tuning in to the quick start guide of Sony TV. Stay tuned for the advanced guide, but since you've tuned into the quick start guide. We're gonna show you what you get with a TV. Look at that. Finish setting up your TV and to connect to the internet. Dismiss. So you get apps. Look at that, it's got a TV app, Netflix. Does it actually come with Netflix? Yeah, but you need to pay for a subscription. Oh, okay, got it. You got Prime Video, you got YouTube. Hey, yeah. Obviously, we're gonna need the internet for this one. Yeah. Back. Favorite apps, customized channels, Sony Select. Oh, I, got, I can't wait to do the advanced guide. I love guide. how fast it is clicking through. Settings, finish setting up your TV. It wants you to really connect to the internet. So watching TV, let's see what that is. Channels, so you can change the channels again to detect them. Info bar banner, display program information when channels change, that's good. Preferences, parental controls, external imp inputs. I'm using the back button as well to go between the guide, this, this button over here. So it's the up, down, left, right, the built middle one and the back one. There's also a quick start TV button. Press that and it'll go straight to your normal TV. I'll click home to go back into the home menu. Go into settings right now. Now we're gonna go to display and sound. So we can adjust the picture, the brightness. It is a bit, you know, Android-y, not 100%, but it is a lot smoother than it was before. 
you don't really get much screen. Visible area, wide mode, auto display area, automatically adjust the vi viewable screen area based on a signal that's turned on and screen position. And there's a quick button for settings, so you can just jump in and change the brightness, the picture mode, the settings, picture off, sleep timer. And you can change the quick start menu. So I guess you can change your apps that we're using, app permissions, special app access. I'll also show you how to unlock developer mode soon in the advanced guide. I guess maybe we need to connect to the network to find out some more features. All right, what should we do? Should we check out YouTube? Yes. Oh, look at oh, all look, these it's adverts. it's fixed up the, the, the time. The time has been fixed. So as soon as it logs onto Wi-Fi, it fixes up the time. It's got some recommended, Mr. Bean. Oh, TikToks are actually relatable. Oh, goodness. Sniper Wolf, Borat. Lots of adverts now that you connect to the internet, so that's good. Sony. Yay! <gasps> Sony 75-inch TV unboxing. Oh. This is when I used to use my Samsung phone to do my videos. Now I'm using a Sony. I'm using a Sony camera. Oh Whoa, we Ooh. thought that was big. That's not big. That's not a TV. Were they just dragging it on the floor? Oh. You see, that was a con because a quarter of the box was actually yeah. empty. Disappointed. I was disappointed. I, was disappointed. I tried being, I, I put on a brave face for the camera. <laughs> One thing I say about the YouTube app is you can't 2x speed video playback, so it can be a bit dull, but we have set up AirPlay. So we're gonna test oh out AirPlay. God. Yeah. Here you go. So if officially, I should be able to just share this screen. All right, so to access AirPlay, you need to go to input select. So it's the icon right at the top there. And there's also the icon on the left of the microphone button. And then you click on AirPlay, boom. Nice. And now you can wirelessly share. So I think I might need a software password, maybe Apple's got a new iOS version that isn't compatible with a TV. Mm. About? System software go. update. Software update. Oh, look at that. Software go. update. Spud, so, yeah. you knew so it. So I still have automatic updates disabled because I want to get my TV to a state where everything's working and then never update the TV ever again because updates slow it down, introduce yeah. bugs, make things not work. So I'm just going to... Update it now, because my AirPlay isn't working, and hopefully it will work then. Okay, cool. It's actually like quite straightforward. You know, this TV is actually more straightforward than I had anticipated it to be. I thought it was going to be quite complicated. Oh, it's fun spending months and everything. Happy 2021! Oi, oi! Is it 2021? Yeah. <laughs> this is how we spend our 2021. Software updates. Software updates. Software updates. Software updates. Updates. Software, Software updates. updates. Software updates. Software updates. 2020, 2021. Software updates. Software updates. Software updates. It is another day and we are setting up good. The software update should have been completed. So let's turn her on. And it says, do I want to enable Samba Interactive TV? Samba Interactive TV powers recommendations and other apps by gathering data consumption of the specific on-screen content to enhance your viewing experience. Uh, <laughs> disable. Thank you, software update. Please confirm. Trending right now, recommended for you. Yes, disable. You can enable it if you like, suggestions and being advertised to, but I'm, I'm happy not to. So now we have the new version of the operating system. It is up and running. Let me just show you how the TV looks like from the front. The gorgeous, this is the angle the viewing angle that you see side by side it looks pretty good from all angles I gotta say I'm liking this TV it's too high up and this is low all right my friends now it's time to set up the TV to watch terrestrial television and I have an aerial I have an aerial connected in my house coming out of the port over here and there's already a cable over here. This is a co coaxial cable. And it used, to, it used to run to this part of the wall from that part of the wall. However, for some reason, I pulled it out and I lost the connection piece that extends these two ports together. So this is what's called an F-type male. And this is called an F-type male as well. So you're gonna need a female to make them work together. So in this pack here, 
This is a, a TV VCR coaxial cable and adapter. It's got a 10 meter male to male connection and it's also got that illustrious female connection. Now I did want to buy the female connection on its own. However, all the electronic stores were closed. So I just paid a bit extra, I figured 10 meter cable. Eventually I'm gonna fish that wire around the place. I've got, <laughs> check it out, fish tape. So stay tuned for a future episode to see how that works. And as you can see on the inside here, this is the magic. A male should fit in there and a male should fit in there. So we're gonna be having some fun here. There you go, fits in perfectly. I'll use the old connector for now, fits in perfectly. Next up, around the back of my TV, there is a port for the TV connection and it goes just in that one there. Now, now we're ready to fire up the remote control and hopefully detect some good old fashioned or new fashion Australian television. So I turn the TV on and boom, it launches straight away. I click back and there's actually a TV app. Let's see what that is. It's gonna tell me there is nothing on the screen. No signal detected, HDMI one. So I wanna go back in settings and settings here. And then watching TV, channels. You just wanna go into auto tuning and I've actually got a digital aerial set up. I'm gonna try them both. You choose which one you want and hit next and it will go ahead and detect all the channels around. All right, there you go. We got some channels. Nine channels have been found already on the screen. All right, looks like we're done. I mean, this is pretty easy to follow. You click next and we have got 84 channels. Finish. And now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna press the TV button right in the middle of the remote control. And look at that. Hey! Out. Make a wish. We've got TV remote. It takes about two seconds to switch through the channels. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's all right, I've had worse. You can jump through. It's still downloading all the data to find out what's on. Now I wanna see, is there a nice TV guide? So this is the TV guide. I guess it is pretty fast, scrolling through left and right. It's still buffering in what's on TV. But that's cool. And you've got digital popular gonna tell you what's popular. Switch over. We weekend lunch with Bridie Tanner. That is a radio channel that's very popular right now over here in Australia. ABC News. Now I'm gonna go into the home screen of Android. Look at that because I had a TV. It's got a new channel called TV. I've of course disabled all my other channels because they're just adverts but I've got a new channel called TV and it's just buffering up. Gives me a little preview of what's going on and I can jump straight back into TV. Nice little animation. So home and then TV. But also if you press down twice, look at this. Whoa, the whole shebang appears on the screen. It's actually pretty fast going up and down, NBN news. And you can go one week into the future like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Look at that, it just a couple of seconds. Well, not even that, not even a second. And it is up on the screen. So I'm gonna go into today's events and we can see, what is that? Is that House Hunters? Gotta find out what they're up to. Boom, view, tap it twice, couple of seconds. Okay, it's not the fastest, but it is pretty cool. So TV and then down, down. Gotta get down, down. You know, if you wanna be quick, there is actually a guide button just there. I'll just press that guide button. Look at that, that one that's there, top left, the guide button. So if you wanna change the apps that appear onto this front top area, Press plus and then you can add Apple TV for example. You can add, I guess, Play Store. That'd probably be good. And timers, set yourself reminders, YouTube music right at the top. And I guess to remove an app, for example, we don't need, want Sony Select. You press and hold the middle button and say remove from favorites. Now, if you don't like all of these different categories that's appearing on the screen, right at the bottom, there's an option called customize channels and now I'll allow you to disable certain features. So for example, I'll disable Netflix. I don't see that. I don't see Prime. I don't see Sony Select and promotional channels. I also don't want to see the app spotlight. So I'll disable that. 
YouTube, YouTube Music, disable that, recommended, disable that. Oh, look at that, beautiful. I've got a nice, simple Android TV. Kind of feels a bit too simple. Be nice if you had all the apps that you've got on your TV listed rather than having to always add a favorite. But let me just go back here and click on apps there. And there's an apps actual button on the remote. So that'll be a lot quicker to do. So you just tap in the apps button. So let's check out the kind of apps you get on the app store. And you have to sign into Google to access that information. So I recommend two options, sign into your real account or set up a specific account for the TV. Now, if you have lots of purchases on your existing account, you probably just want to link it to your TV. Not that big of a drama. Or if you want to keep your TV life separate to your home life, separate to your work life, you can make a specific Google account for that TV. Also, one more thing, if you do forget your remote control and you're signed into the same account as your phone, as your TV, check this out, you can go, okay Google, turn on my TV. Boom, shakalaka, look at that. Look at that. All right, turning Cairo TV on. Boom. Hey Google, turn off my TV. Got it, turning off Cairo TV. Bop. One thing I do want to try is how it handles an external keyboard and mouse. So I've got a USB one and I'll see if it works. This is the back. Your power cord goes in there and on the other side is where all your connections go. So we got that like USB, you got woo, digital audio, you got headphone jack, you got video in, you got HDMIs and you got the ethernet port, LAN. I want to be using that instead of Wi-Fi and then you have remotes and Finally, is the cable antenna. So I'm gonna be trying out my USB keyboard and seeing if that works. Do, oh, look at that. You actually get a mouse. You can use the mouse. Look, I'm clicking. I just clicked on Netflix. It's a bit slow. Escape, what does that do? Escape is like the back button. Oh, you can use the keyboard. That is really cool. I wonder if you can use an Xbox controller. And I'm gonna do Bluetooth pairing. It's flashing. I'll just click on the settings button here and select Bluetooth and add device. And let's see if it detects this Xbox controller. Okay, Xbox wireless controller pairing. Oh, look at that. Yo, you can use an Xbox controller on this Android TV. Yo, I need to get some games. First up, I'm gonna try out Crossy Road. And this is gamepad compatible, so it should just work and it should be fun. They need to ask for your age in order for them to give you adverts. So I'm gonna say I'm one years old. Haha, -ha, no in-app purchase prompts for me. Thank you, hipster whale. I need to access, why? Why do you wanna access my files, bro? Deny, we need permission. All right, allow, play. I hate Android, because if you give it access to your device, what happens? It's got access to all of your files. Play again. I'll let you have it. I'll just trust you since you're a big time developer. Oh no, oh no, no. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh it's stalled. Ah, it's a problem with Android, it's so choppy. It literally stalled. No. All right, it was an okay experience. I gotta say, I don't like the choppiness. Yeah, it's a bit choppy. It stutters every now and then. All right, this experience is pretty poor. Literally every five seconds there is a stutter. Let's see if we can fix that with developer options. So I'll go into settings, device preferences, about, and then you go to the build and you just need to click that several times until it says you are now a developer. When you're a developer, you get a new option right in the middle called developer options. And there you can now sideload apps. You can use this as a debugging tool and you can mess around with all these cool settings so they stay awake. The screen will never sleep while charging. Android shoved into OS <laughs> charging. Use broadcast provided time as TV clock. 
remote allow debugging, view inspection, wireless display certification, mobile data always active, always keep mobile data active even when Wi-Fi is active. So I'll just delete that. We don't have mobile data, that's weird. Shell taps, pointer locations, drawings, window animation scale so you can speed up the animation and make your TV feel faster. For now, I think One X suits fine on this big screen TV. Normally, on my phone, I usually make it faster. And there's all these cool debug settings. And you can even have don't keep activity. So if your TV is getting a bit sluggish, you can enable that and pretty much every single application that launches will launch from scratch rather than being reloaded from the memory or continuing to run in the background. You can change the background process limit which limits the amount of applications which can run in the background. So if you have too many apps running at the same time, it could slow down your experience. I'm gonna make no background processes. So now all the performance is gonna be limited to the application that's running on the screen. And let's see how that does. Apps, same game. and let's see if it performs any better. And look at that, I'm playing and there's no stutters in sight. So if you do wanna play games on this TV, I'd probably just limit the number of background processes. Maybe you can have one or two. I've set it to none and that seems to be working really good. No stutters. Before, remember it was getting choppy every five seconds. Now I'm playing the game fully and it's, it's operational. We'll try out Crossy Road. That also had stuttering issues. Look at that. No stutters. I've made it a good, good portion on the screen. Oh no, it's getting tricky. Oh, but yeah, TV is not stuttering. That is pretty sick. The one thing that's missing from this TV is recording the screen. I think I'm gonna to try to hack it. I'm gonna make an app so I can record the screen, but that's the only thing that's missing. The LG one allows you to just record us on the screen onto a USB. Sony in Australia, they've disabled it. But it runs fast. It's pretty cool. Look at that, you're running Apple stuff on an Apple device. But look at that, I'm using my Xbox controller with my TV. I got my remote controller with my TV. I got a keyboard and mouse with this TV. It's running pretty fast. I'm actually impressed. They've, they've gone a lot better in the last three years since I last got Android TV. Doing a good job, Android. It is 64 here. And I can see we got 2.5 gigabytes of RAM, giving us a total memory of 2,000 megabytes. 500 megabytes is available and free. You got 6.5 gigabytes of internal storage. CPU is a 1.5 gigahertz processor. It's got four cores. It's using ARM64, Mali G71 GPU, network, we're over Wi-Fi, and this is just telling me the system files. So compared to my Samsung Galaxy Note 10, this is last year's edition, or maybe two years if you're watching this in the future, this one goes up to 2.7 gigahertz. So this phone should be more than twice as fast as this TV. Yeah, as you can see, it's running a lot more faster on my phone. TV is like, five times slower it's pretty horrendous for gaming so overall on the bravia we got 1044 and on my samsung Galaxy you know 2019 phone i got 3836 so this phone this mobile processor battery operated is four times more powerful than this tv why did they skimp out on the processor i don't get it even the most expensive sony tv you get the same processor one thing you could do however is inside storage. By default, you get around 6.7 gigabytes of total space, and it gives the option to delete demo content. It says delete retail demo content to increase available memory. So if you tap on that, you can delete it. Inside screensaver, you can have your TV automatically go to sleep. I've set mine to go to sleep after three hours, and my screensaver to start after one hour, just in case I forget one day to turn off my TV while I'm watching and you get to choose the kind of screensavers. So this is the backdrop screensaver and it has Chromecast built in. I guess it will just be streaming the pictures that it's got on your Google account that you're signed into. And the colors look like this. Looks kind of cool and fruity. I kind of like it. Happy with that. Now, the biggest challenge I've got is to get AirPlay working. So far it hasn't been working. I'm preparing an update to install the latest version on my phone. So what we're gonna test now is does AirPlay work?
All right, so I can't get AirPlay to work at the moment. I'm gonna update my phone in the meantime. Updated my phone to the latest version of iOS. I wanna see if I can get AirPlay working. Swiping up, screen mirroring. Cara, it's available, it's detected. So I um, should have an on-screen password. Two, one, one, two, okay. Boom, yes. Okay, so in order to get AirPlay working, if it isn't working for you, update to the latest iOS and I guess update to the latest TV OS and then disable updates and never update again because it's finally working. So look at that, look at that, I'm swiping away. Everyone's enjoying the show. What's up, how's it going? How do I look like? I look all right. It's a pretty cool experience. Let's see if we can also AirPlay or cast from my phone. Smart view. Start. Look at that, I've got my phone right on my screen. It is gorgeous. Again, how do I look? Whew, look all right, better from the front. That's a beautiful TV. Zoom in, ultra. All right, it's pretty cool. So you can cast from your phone, you can cast from either phone, Android, iOS. You can connect your Xbox controller on the all applications support it 100%, but some applications like I just showed you just there do support it. You can also use your remote. You got a beautiful Netflix button, which I will probably never touch in my life. You got settings, you got apps, click on apps and he jumps in, shows you the apps. You got AirPlay, good sound, disable background processes if you can and that will get better performance, it'll be a lot smoother. As you can see, everything's running smooth now, there's no stupidity happening in the background and you can customize and get rid of all the advertisement channels over here. So I hope you guys found this tutorial video on how to set up this Sony 85 incher the X80, X85, X90, X95, they all have the same operating system. Should all still run the same. Hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. So this is what's called an F-type male. I'll disable that. Boom. This is the back. See, 864 here. Yeah, as you can see, it's running a lot more faster. This is how we spin up. Software update. Software, Software. update.